In this video, we're going to talk about what can cause an EPF1 fault or an external fault on a 61 and 71 drive. So first of all, the fault code or the status of the drive is shown on the very top left of the keypad right here, EPF1. And external fault can happen for a number of reasons. Um, normally it's because it's, something is programmed as an external fault, meaning a logic input is programmed as an external fault. And if that's not satisfied, it will result in that fault code, whether it be an active high or active low assignment. So to confirm whether this is something programmed in the drive, and again, if it's programmed, that's normal. Uh, but if that logic is not getting in a signal that's programmed to external fault, that'd be a, a wiring issue or uh, if that's something that should not be programmed, we can definitely get rid of that function, no problem. So first things first, to confirm this, you want to press enter on drive menu and then go down to 1.8 fault management and then scroll down to external fault. You see check mark right here? That means it's already programmed to something. So we know that it exists. And um, here we go. So right now we have external fault assignment program to LI6 as an example here. And we have an external fault configuration as active low. Again, this can be programmed as active low or active high. So make sure that it's programmed for the right configuration. And of course, for the assignment itself, uh, again, if it's not, if it should not be programmed at all, it should be a no assignment. But right now we have LI6 checked, which means it is programmed to a digital input, and that digital input is not being satisfied, uh, which is why it's causing that fault code on the top or, uh, left. So let's just go and turn to no assignment for now to get rid of that issue since we're not using it for any reason. Now, once you've unassigned that. Of course, this is a fault, so you have to, you have to actually get rid of this fault by um, either using a fault reset function or by powering it down. Well, let's go ahead and power it down for our purposes here. And make sure that the display goes completely blank. It might take a few seconds in your case. Once it's blank, go ahead and power it back up. And now that uh, we have power sack of the drive, you'll see on the top right, I mean, excuse me, top left, it now shows ready and our external fault has gone away. And this is basically what you can do to confirm um, what's causing an external fault and how to resolve that particular fault code. 